Hello everyone, welcome to Straight Cam. In this video, we're going to look at stereoisomerism. Stereoisomerism is defined as the isomerism that resulting from different arrangements of atoms in space. Stereoisomerisms, we have two types. Number one, the one that we're going to look at in this video, cis-trans isomerisms also known as diastereomers, and then in the other video of which you can check out the second one is optical isomerisms also known as the enantiomers cis trans isomerisms occurs in two types of molecule alkenes and cyclic alkanes Cis trans isomerisms form due to in alkenes, they have restricted rotation on the carbon carbon double bond. So, when they have restricted rotation, so that is the key word on the carbon carbon double bond, it causes alkenes to be able to form cis trans isomerisms. Meanwhile, for the cyclic alkanes, they have restricted rotation on the ring of cyclic compounds. So when you look at the structure on top over here, this is your alkene. Okay, so this is your 2-butene. In this 2-butene, it has restricted rotation on the carbon-carbon double bond over here. The carbon-carbon double bond over here is not so easily rotated. And because, because of that, it will be able to have cis-trans isomerisms. And you have to note that at the restricted rotation over there, two different atoms or group of atoms attach on the carbon on the carbon carbon double bond if you look at this carbon right here it has ch3 and h attached to it so two different atoms or group of atoms attach on the carbon of the carbon carbon double bond so that is another requirement that you need to have or the molecule must have in order for it to be able to perform or to exhibit cis trans isomerisms. So let's have a look at the cis trans structure. The cis 2 butene structure looks like this. So this is exactly the same structure um, molecule that you are looking at over here, but this is in the cis form. The cis form, when you have the the same kind of or similar atoms, a group of atoms on the same plane. As you can see over here, the H on the same plane and the CH3 on the same plane. So this is cis-2-butene. And the other one is trans-2-butene. This is when you have the same atoms or group of atoms they are on the opposite plane or on the opposite side of the restricted rotation so that carbon carbon double bond and this carbon carbon double bond they are the same carbon carbon double bond as you can see here this is just the normal way of drawing it and this is how you're going to draw it in the cis trans form so this is the isomer for cis, this is the isomer for trans. Let's have a look at another one. We have the restricted sortation over here, this carbon-carbon double bond. And when you look at the carbon-carbon double bond, this one has a hidden H, like what you are looking at right over here, that is the hidden H. And the equivalence or the similar atoms or group of atoms they are on the same side or the same plane 
and CH3, CH2, and the CH3 on this carbon on the restricted rotation right there, they are on the same plane. So that, this is known as the cis 2 chloro 2 pentene. So you would be able to guess that the trans isomer would be looking like so. So you have this H and the CL on the opposite side and the CH3, CH2 of this carbon is on the opposite side as the CH3 of the carbon over here on the restricted rotation. Okay, I'm going to highlight that for you. So this carbon-carbon double bond is the same as the carbon-carbon double bond over here. Same goes to that one. For cyclic alkane, they have restricted on the cyclic compound. They have restriction on the cyclic compound. So this is the cyclic compound. They too would possibly going to be forming cis trans isomers. So the cis 13 dimethyl cyclobutane looks like this. Okay, you have hidden H right here. And the hidden H, they are on the same side for cis. And for trans, they will be located on the opposite side. So that is the trans structure. So this is another example of cis trans in cyclic compound. As you can see here, the chlorine, they are on the same side. So you can draw it like this as well. And the hydrogen are on the same side. The chlorine and chlorine are on the top plane. The HH are on the bottom plane. But for trans, they have, they are on the opposite plane. Okay. So the restricted rotation are on the cyclic ring. Tip number one, if one of the carbon at carbon-carbon double bond have, if they have identical groups, no cis trans will occur. For example, like this. So this is not a cis nor a trans. Why? Because the carbon over here on the carbon-carbon double bond, it has the same thing attached on it. Same goes with that one. So for, in this case, we do not have cis-trans isomerisms. Tip number two, cis isomers are polar and trans isomers are nonpolar. The melting point for trans isomers will be bigger than its cis isomers. The reason is because the trans isomers molecules, they are more closely packed in a solid form. And that is the reason why trans isomers are having higher melting point than cis isomers. But because of cis isomers polarity and trans isomers non-polarity, the boiling point for cis isomers will be bigger than trans isomers. And that is because of the polarity. Because cis isomers are polar, that is the reason why it has a stronger intermolecular forces than trans isomers. And because of that, the boiling point for cis isomers will be bigger than trans isomers.